Hello and uh, welcome uh, to a brand new episode of uh, the Daily Debate. My name is Ahmed Nader and uh, tonight we'll be focusing on uh, the presidential activities of His Excellency President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi over the past uh, few days as uh, President al-Sisi had uh, participated in St. Petersburg of uh, Russia at uh, the Russia-Africa Summit for uh, the economic affairs and the humanitarian development and of course to be developing the bilateral ties between Russia and Africa for the near future. We'll be uh, discussing at large for uh, the main part of uh, the episode for tonight, uh, the Russian-African relations and more specifically the bilateral ties between Egypt and uh, Russia, especially with the current circumstances regarding the conflict between Russia and uh, Ukraine and how the negative repercussions are affecting the whole of Africa in terms of uh, security and economic development. Uh, as well uh, more specifically for the uh, grain deal between Russia and uh, Ukraine. But we'll be, however, starting uh, straight away with uh, the main top stories that took place in Egypt for Sunday. And uh, the first uh, item comes uh, from uh, the activities of uh, Prime Minister Mustafa Madhuli, who said that the past year witnessed a great leap in the national efforts with regards to curbing the human trafficking on all levels locally, regionally and internationally. This came during a speech marking the Human Trafficking Fighting Day of 2023. He said that uh, with growing crises, human trafficking gangs found suitable environment to drag the new victims and use the modern techniques to exploit the, such victims. He said that the Egyptian authorities took all the necessary precautionary measures to guarantee the decent life for the citizens so that none would fall victims to the human trafficking. He said that the political will is keen on the highest levels to curb this crime to protect the individuals and the society. Madhuli said that on the regional level, Egypt sought to find suitable settlements to the crises of the region. He said that with regards to the Sudanese crisis, Egypt shouldered the responsibility and opened its arms to the Sudanese brothers in their second mother nation, allowing their passage to Egypt. He said that the Egyptian authorities cooperated with all the national and the international bodies to provide the Sudanese's human needs and took all the measures to assure that they are not subject to the human trafficking, stressing that the state is keen to curb the practice by all means. And uh, for the second item of the top stories uh, for tonight, uh, we take you to the fifth uh, session of the National Dialogues political track, which kicked off on Sunday with the participation of various spectra of uh, the society. The Committee on the Political Right Practice uh, discussed the law of practice in political rights, while the Committee of Syndicates and Civil Work discussed the challenges of the labor unions. The Committee of Local Municipalities discussed the local administration law. On Tuesday, the sessions of the Economic Axis will witness several discussions at the Committee on Social Justice and the Committee of the Public Debt, Budget Deficit and the Financial Reform. On Thursday, the societal aspect of the dialogue will witness discussions at the Committee on Family and Social Cohesion as well as the Committee on Education and Scientific Research.